What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Wanted to give you guys a statue display sales update. We've sold a lot of things. We only have actually one statue remaining uh, for now. You know me. Uh, but Joker just got paid off. Uh, he actually sold locally, so I'm going to box him up. The guy's going to come up later today to get the statue. A tweeter head Pennywise is pending sold. The guy's promised to pay, so uh, that should be shipped off and sold as soon as the guy pays. Uh, we got some prop replicas on the way uh, that will arrive this week. Uh, nothing else major in this room, but in the marble room, I've done some rearrangements and I wanted to show this to you guys. So I decided to rearrange the inside of this uh, for a few specific reasons, as you'll see. So I needed to move Thanos and Red Skull and Doctor Doom to the far left. The reason is I want to have all the heroes in here in their own cubes. Just one hero really per cube and maybe a prop replica or something like that. And it just made more sense to do Thanos next to Iron Man, Captain next to Red Skull, their main two villains. And then I didn't want to have Thor over there because I already have a Thor right there. And I want to keep everything separate. You know, I want the Iron Mans when I have duplicate characters far away from each other. So I don't visually see them when looking in the same direction. So I just don't like that. So I'm sitting down. This is my angle. Now, uh, we've sold Hulk and Thor. Uh, all we have actually is that widow right there. She is still available for sale. She is priced at $600 shipped. She comes with a custom hair and repaint, uh, professionally repainted by John Allred, uh, a much more vibrant orange instead of the brown hair. It is the exclusive as well, so it comes with a switch out. Uh, we'll, we'll be getting the Iron Studios Far From Home statue. Uh, that's actually my favorite Spider-Man movie, uh, as well as, you know, he's my favorite Spider-Man, and Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character. So I wanted it to be more of a centerpiece right here that I can look at constantly and I just think it flows better and also I have all my XM Studios statues now in a row literally all with their art prints like that so I think it looks really really cool and so I'm gonna keep it like this I really like this uh we're just waiting for the Iron Studios Spider-Man Iron Studios Iron Man and both those should be shipping actually within the next two months and then Queen Studios Battle Damaged Iron Man Bust, which will go right where Thor and Hulk are. And that should also be shipping in January. So that's really exciting. Uh, after I get that, plus all the one-tenth scales I'm waiting on, Marvel Collection really should be complete unless Queen drops a Black Widow life-size silicone bust, which will be very tempting and hard to resist considering she's my number one. So, you know, I do have that Black Widow. I have a 1 6 and a 1 10th, and then I'm selling this one fourth. Even though technically I have space for it, obviously, right there, I don't want to have duplicate characters within this display. I would be fine if I could fit her up top, but she just does not fit anywhere among this display, unfortunately. So she does have to go. Uh, purely just, it looks better not having her here. That's the only reason why. The only character I would consider next to Vision would be a Scarlet Witch. I think that would be fine. But having two Black Widows there and there just does not work. It'd have to be a Scarlet Witch. That's the only one that could work there. Uh, let me do some close-ups for you on Black Widow, though, so you can see exactly what you're getting. So she does come with a switch-out longer hair if you want to do the, like, Iron Man 2 hair, and it is colored the exact same to match. Uh, right now I have her holding two guns, but she comes with a switch out where she's not holding a gun, and it's like she's about to grab it, basically. So that's her switch out. Uh, small box, 600 bucks shipped. She generally goes for 500 plus on eBay, so I think 600 with the custom hair and repaints of solid deal shipped. Uh, so please do message me if you are interested. Uh, Instagram, flankster117, or email flanksterbysell at gmail.com, and we will get her sold. So I want to show uh, one other thing. I So as you know, if you saw my video the other day, you know I was contemplating different video game statues, and I was selling Majora's Mask. Now Majora's Mask is sold. Sold it from that YouTube video. 
and it's actually on payment plans. You'll still see it here. But I have a plan on what to do here. So I'm going to move Bloodborne right there. He fits perfect right there. The Ninja Gaiden and Ghost of Tsushima is going to go top. Down low will be Final Fantasy VII Diorama by F4. To the right, I'm going to scoot Neo up one, and that will give me plenty of space for Aloy. I restarted Horizon Zero Dawn, and within 10 minutes, I decided Aloy is the statue for me. It's a special statue. It looks amazing. It's from an amazing video game, and I love it. So it's coming to the collection. So I'm actually just going to pre-order it direct from Prime 1, because I'll have $60 in reward points once uh, Ash ships. So as soon as Ash ships, I'm going to pre-order Aloy. And I'll probably just do standard shipping, so it's only $150, bucks, where economy was $49. So I'm like, I'll pay $100 bucks to get it two months early. Uh, and then Kratos is sold, and that's going to be Ellie Gaming Head's Hunter Edition. And I've already pre-ordered the Majora's Mask 12-inch version. It's going to go right there. That's going to move there. I pre-ordered the Link to go next to her, so all this will be done. So Majora's Mask and Link are actually both shipping extremely soon. So that's really exciting. Next DBZ to arrive really should be the Goku Bust. Uh, I'm not sure when it will ship, but I'm pretty confident that will be the next one to ship. Uh, we also have the Androids 1 4th, Reborn Frieza 1 4th, and then Prime 1 Goku, and then likely Prime 1 Vegeta, and then Tasume Goku and Vegeta. And those will be my final DBZ statues, uh, which will be very exciting. So... Yeah, that is pretty much it. Just need to sell that Black Widow unless I decide to sell something else to fund something else. You know, if Black Widow bust does go up on pre-order and I freaking love it, I may have to sacrifice. I mean, it need to go in the Marvel room, ideally top shelf space next to my other Queen Studio stuff. I honestly kind of hope they don't do a pre-order of that because then I don't have to worry about it. It will just be very difficult to change up that display again and sell stuff because if I sold something it would you know I wouldn't have that specific character so it'd be very very difficult to do that so I honestly hope Queen please don't make a Black Widow bust it's too tempting so next big statue should be Bane Ultimate uh, that will be arriving within the next two weeks so very very excited to get that that should also come with the Indoraptor so the Indoraptor and Bane should both be on the same boat shipment and then after that should be Khaleesi and Shazam. They should be on the same boat shipment. And then of course, Prime 1 Ash. I ordered that direct. So as soon as they give me the shipping notification, I'll determine you know, if it's worth the extra cash to do standard or just do economy and wait the extra you know, two months. Those are really the next big five statues I would say I'm getting. You know, So Prime 1 Bane Ultimate, Shazam Khaleesi, Indoraptor, Ash, and of course, the Iron Studios, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Queen Studios, Iron Man bust. So all phenomenal pieces. Absolutely cannot wait. So really, really looking forward to all these statues. Especially the ones that go in this room, just because it feels kind of empty having no Bane there, no Shazam, no Khaleesi, no Ash. And of course, these two giant empty spots waiting for Ghost and Ghostface and Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. But I'm going to go ahead and box up Joker now and watch some uh, TV and chillax. And I will see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.